Today's topic is Canavan disease. Canavan disease is a rare, progressive, inherited neurological disorder that causes damage to the nerve cells in the brain. This disease is one of a group of genetic disorders called leukodystrophies. This group of genetic disorders is rare, progressive, and can affect the brain, spinal cord, and often the nerve outside the central nervous system. Leukodystrophies disrupt the growth or maintenance of myelin sheath, which is the covering that protects the nerves and increases the speed of transmission of nerve signals. Each type of leukodystrophy affects a different section of the myelin sheath leading to a range of different neurological disorders. Canavan disease begins in infancy. Affected infants appear normal for the first few months of life, until about three to five months when symptoms begin to appear. Life expectancy for infants with the condition usually varies, but they usually develop life-threatening complications by the age of 10. Causes. Canavan disease is a genetic disorder, inherited in an autosomal recessive genetic pattern. An autosomal recessive genetic pattern is one of the several ways that a trait disorder can be passed down through families. Autosomal recessive occurs when two abnormal genes are inherited, one from each parent. This means that both parents must carry the defective gene and transmit the gene to the child for the child to have the condition. Canavan disease is caused by mutations in the ASPA gene, a gene that provides the instruction for making an enzyme called aspartosylase. This enzyme breaks down a compound called N-acetylaspartic acid, or NAA. The NAA is predominantly found in the neurons in the brain and is believed to play a vital role in the production of the myelin sheath. However, recent research suggests that NAA does not have this function. This enzyme may instead be involved in the transport of water molecules out of the neurons. Mutations in the ASPA gene reduces the function of the aspartosylase, which results in the accumulation of NAA in the brain tissue. This high level of NAA subsequently results in the progressive destruction of the myelin sheath. Over time, nerves without the myelin sheath protective covering begin to malfunction, leading to a disruption of normal brain development. Symptoms. Delay in motor skills development, such as turning over, sitting without support, and controlling head movement. A usually larger head size weak or abnormal muscle tones such as stiffness or floppiness, irritability, seizures, feeding and swallowing difficulties. Other symptoms that may develop include sleep disturbance, paralysis, blindness, hearing loss. It should be noted that symptoms appear about three to five months after birth. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis is made by carrying out thorough clinical evaluations, a detailed patient's history, and a series of tests. Tests may include gas chromatography mass spectrometry that is able to detect the levels of NAA in the urine. Elevated levels of NAA can also be detected in the blood and cerebrospinal fluids, or CSF. If both parents have known ASPA gene mutations, prenatal diagnosis is available. This involves measuring the levels of NAA in the amniotic fluids surrounding the fetus at 16 to 18 weeks of gestation. Treatment. No cure exists for the disease, and also there is no standard course of treatment. The treatment option is systematic, directed to specific symptoms that are present in each individual, and supportive. This may include physical therapy to improve motor skills, an educational program to help improve communication skills, anti-epileptic drugs for seizures. In cases of swallowing difficulties, Gastronomy can help maintain an adequate food intake and hydration. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.